let's say you do a painting and it's all right, but after living with it for several weeks or even months, you start thinking, you know, it's not as strong as it could be. It could be stronger. It could be better. Well, you could scrap it, but there are some things you could do to maybe reinvent it or explore new ways to, to give it some life. And one of those ways is cropping. So cropping is reformatting, um, just like in photography, making the image smaller to focus on certain elements. Um, I'm at, after my MFA program, I have dozens of paintings that I'm in the process of preparing to sell. And one of the things I'm doing is cropping a lot of them. So I've got a landscape here that I'm ready to crop, do something different with, um, and I'm just gonna give you a little peek into how I go about doing that. So, this landscape, there's a lot, a lot going on, um, but I'm not sure that it has the sort of emotional oomph that I like to have in my paintings. So I figure I can eliminate some things that might be a little distracting to, to focus on the light happening in the clouds here. So one of the things I'll do is I'll take strips of cardboard like this that I've cut out and sort of play with different formats of what I think might be worth saving or worth getting rid of, what might be distracting. Just, I sort of play around and explore with different compositions, different formations, um, just to see what I could really like pull out of the painting and emphasize. Now, another limitation that I like to consider or keep in consideration is that I work on stretcher bars, which come in standard sizes. So that right away sort of prevents me from just being all willy nilly and all over the place with the sizes of my paintings. What, what I'm trying to get at is once I've sort of decided what in my image I want to save, I can look for a standard size that most closely fits um, the image within the original image that I'm trying to preserve. So what I'll end up doing most times is just taking a size that I think will work and placing it like a window of sorts in my piece, trying to find what exactly I can get out of it. Now, I think uh, I, I'll admit I cheated a little bit and I already found out the image that I wanted uh, before doing this whole video thing. But this is these are sorts of the the I don't want to say tricks, but processes in my mind that I go through when, when trying to search for an image. Really what I'm looking fo for is what elements can I eliminate and what am I trying to emphasize? So in this image in particular, I want to emphasize the clouds. I think these, this dark and this dark is a little bit distracting, so I want to get rid of those. And then I want to find just the right amount of this land down here to keep us grounded, but not be a whole nuanced experience in itself that it detracts from the clouds. So what I'm gonna go for is a little something like 
this, I think. So this is the composition that I found for myself a couple days ago when working on this painting um, that I want to I want to turn it into. I think I found that this ground here, there's so much going on with all of these darks and this light, this light, and this light, and this light that it, 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 it distracts from what's happening here. And I really want this to be the emphasis. So if I just have just enough land to let us know that we're on the ground. The painting really becomes about these big fluffy clouds in the sky. So once I've determined that, I'll make pencil marks, as you can see here. I usually put this around, make some pencil marks all the way around it. And after that, it's just a matter of taking it off of these bars and stretching it around these bars. So to do that, of course, use a staple gun. And then we have these nifty little pry bar things. Here, I'll show you on this. Hopefully that works. And if it doesn't, don't pee. But a little pry bar thing makes it easier to take staples out. So, um, I'm going to do that real fast and you'll see what it looks like on the other side. You know, it may seem tedious, but sometimes like, I like giving the paintings a chance as opposed to just scrapping it, you know? Like you can really, eh, it's fun to play around and see what you can discover, see what new life you can breathe into a painting. You might really surprise yourself. Sometimes, you know, if I find that I'm just gonna, I know that the paint, that I get to a point where the painting is definitely hopeless and I am gonna scrap it. Sometimes there's little phrases of strokes that I like to preserve and cropping down to just like a swash of colors is totally, um, you know, a legit way to keep, keep some, preserve some of the spirit of the painting that you had, preserve some of your touch. All right, so I took the painting off the original bars and we're gonna wrap it around new bars. Um, this next part might be a little hard to watch, might be a little brutal, extreme, severe, whatever you want to call it, but if I know that I'm not gonna need all this excess crap around the edges of my painting, I'm gonna slice it out because that's gonna make it a lot easier when I stretch it on these. Once I've trimmed a little bit of the excess stuff around the edges, it's just a matter of 
lining it up on these with the pencil marks I made on this. and then stretching it like you would a fresh sheet of canvas. So I got my marks up here. And I already know this edge is gonna stay the same. Maybe I'll pull down a little bit over here. Very cool. Also a tip, when trying to line things up correctly, it's, it, it could be a good idea to just put one staple on each edge and then look at your image and see if you got it lined up the way you want it, um, instead of putting a whole bunch of staples down and then undoing them later when you realize that you messed up. So now that I've checked that it's fitting on there the way I want it to, um, I can go all the way around the back and finish stapling. What a difference. Just enough land to sort of give greater significance to the clouds and really make it more about the light of the clouds. I mean, look how like dominating these clouds are now. I think it makes a big difference. I'm satisfied with it. Anyways, uh, try some crops if you like. I think it's really cool to do. Um, fun way to reinvent your paintings. Give it another chance before you throw it away. And yeah, happy painting.